I don't see that resonance. I mean, I think the question of uh, um, the nature of physical reality and understanding the bedrock nature of space and time is one of the challenges to science. Um, and uh, when we can settle that question, we will know much better whether um, our Big Bang was the only one, um, whether there are other domains of space and time separate from ours, um, whether there were many Big Bangs, whether there's another universe as well alongside ours, both embedded in some fourth spatial dimension. There are all these ideas which are now speculative. We might put some of them on a firm footing. Um, and that would just be a further extension in our concept of the hugeness of physical reality. But I would see that as just one step beyond what's happened ever since uh, Copernicus, because we had the idea of our solar system uh, being um, essentially the universe and the stars just being a vault of heaven. Then we had the idea that uh, the stars were other suns. And then we had the idea that our galaxy was just one of zillions of others. And now we have the idea that uh, the cosmos seen through our telescopes may be a tiny part. So I don't see anything qualitatively different about the extent of, of space, but it may change our view about uh, the fundamental laws of nature. What we think of the, as the fundamental laws of nature may be, in a sense, environmental accidents in some still grander context, and there may be a deeper level where the laws are universal. So I think uh, we are going to have a different concept of reality, but how that will affect our view of each other um, is a separate question. It seems to me that uh, um, our relation to each other is uh, um, obviously intimate since we all originate from the same spark of life four billion years ago through cosmic evolution. Um, I don't think these uh, broader concepts of the physical universe have very much effect. But I think there is one respect in which being an astronomer does have an effect on how we see human beings. And that's that it allows us to see ourselves as part of an ongoing process. Most educated people are aware that we are the outcome of four billion years of evolution. Um, but they tend to feel that we are the culmination, that's it. Whereas as an astronomer, I know that the uh, sun is less than halfway through its life and the universe may have an infinite future. And um, to quote Woody Allen, it turned his very long, especially towards the end. And lots could happen then. And so uh, in that perspective, we may be not even the halfway stage in evolution. And so post-human evolution, either organic or maybe in silicon-based computers, could go far beyond that. And so uh, and this may already have happened in other parts of the, the cosmos. There may be uh, entities far beyond human beings in ways we can't possibly conceive. And so I think um, astronomers do have an open-mindedness about the possibility of a far more wonderful level of complexity, uh, even more complex than human beings, somewhere out there and in our own long-term future. So that's a sense in which I think you get a special uh, conceptual view of humanity by thinking of cosmology, because it allows us to think of a long-range future as well as a long-range past. And in that context, um, it raises another thing which I worry about and is the theme of my next book, which is, uh, um, uh, are there limits to um, science set by what our brains can cope with? Uh, there may be things that we can't understand, maybe even a fundamental theory of space and time, simply because our brains aren't up to it. Uh, just as a chimpanzee can't understand quantum theory. There's no reason whatever to believe that our brains, which uh, evolved a few hundred thousand years ago to cope with uh, life on the African savanna and all that, um, should be matched to understanding the deepest aspects of reality. I think it's rather remarkable that we've got so far in understanding the cosmos and the quantum. But there may be aspects of reality that we just can't grasp. Computers may help us in some respects, but uh, um, again, it, it would seem to me there's no reason whatever to think that uh, our brains are attuned to all aspects of reality and science. So uh, although science is an open frontier, there's far, far further to go. There may be some aspects of science which we can't conceive of yet and which may be beyond our understanding.